Welcome back to East Origin. Last time, we got this, and then I fell. Fire is probably going to be more useful when we're not in a fireplace, but having fire means we can light this torch. Ability seems okay, uh, situational, really. If you use it in the air, you can glide a little. Yeah, that works. Later, dude. And now that we have fire, we can proceed this way by lighting these torches. Also had a heartful farewell from our commander. Uh, we have to light another torch. That yeah, like Unica. Yeah, like with Unica, I wouldn't dare just run up and melee these guys. I mean, they are still getting off that fire attack. There's our ruby. Let's see what this bad boy does. Oof. Yeah. About what I Better. thought. What's the glide like? Uh, I need to get somewhere I can test that. Alright, what do you got for me, demon room? Sure is a little demony. Darn it, Unica. Oh, she's dead. Come on, Unica. You had the health to make it to the other side. You just wander in all on your own. Leisurely. And I should be gone by the time that happens. Hey. Yeah, because he's a demon. I like the letterbox disappearing. <laughs> like it flashes real quick and then it's just like, oh crap, full screen. Boost Max! Okay, this is gonna be a right pain in the butt, so... They're actually gonna make me just friggin'... Yeah, you have to boost through it because you're a demon when you go through. Just gonna make me... friggin' hell run this thing, okay. I don't know what raises boost back up. I'm kind of hoping murder does. Nope, boost max. Bates is... Yeah. Okay, they're not gonna drop a boost max, so I'm not even worried about it. Gimme. Don't have time to deal with those guys. I can't properly convey just how famished I am. It almost feels like my stomach is eating itself in a bizarre spatial paradox of epic proportions. Toll gives the fruit. What a remarkable person you are. The only thing more delicious than Rhoda fruit is your t tasty, tasty generosity. It has inspired me to respond in kind, so please take this humblest of gifts, Paul. That gives you the ring of ease. And I cannot tell you how grateful I am to you. 
Yeah, probably going to be a good idea to keep this one on instead of a Clarity Ring. Like the strength like three, is nice, but... Like plus three, minus three just doesn't hold up quite as much as it used to. Like as it did early game. And reduce MP consumption is kind of nice. Really, it's right. not even a boost max. Uh, wasn't right around here where I got the... The thing that let me heal? Yeah! I'd rather be able to heal whenever I want to. You don't really go through that much MP anyway. Yeah, not as toll. You know, I have thus far done zero grinding as toll. I forget what level I was here initially, but... What, I'm wondering right if I'm under level. Yeah, poor Gondolia. I don't know, man. Do I not have? To, do I have to grind? Haven't done it once, and I'm just destroying everything here. Well, let's go down here and trigger this, I guess. I know the torches I've seen for the third time. I supposed to be? Like, literally, that was the easiest thing ever. Oh, this weird guy. Yeah, coming up is a good time. Oh, I gotta hear these guys out for a do you think wow, this... get wrecked! Oh, uh, you know what, sure, let's fight this guy and that'll be today. Yeah, you say fight. This has never been a super hard boss fight, and it works uh, well close range, too. Surprise, I'm a different boss. Nope. I was trying I was to get onto my it. dash. I died to the lava. Minimal damage from the lava. I died from the lava. Well, look, when you only have three HP left, minimal damage is all it needs. I don't even know if I should bother boosting. Like, I wonder if he has a damage threshold. I mean, I'd probably go for it when the head shows up, but...
Yeah, dang it. Every time. Every time. See, I only hit him like three times, too. Like, maybe it's better to boost on the first one? Because I feel like he has damage for a Or maybe I should be using it on, like, the hands. Good. You're switching over just everything. Final part of 5.5. .5. Um, no. Okay. I mean, I completed the story initially. Yeah, I completed the story initially, and then um, the most recent patch I haven't even been on since it came out. Why are you gonna keep giving me the weird platforms? You find that out the last time we're fighting him too. Well, you know oh. what to do. You gotta die. gotta die and start all over again. Yep. Jesse played through the other day, and it's hilarious. Because there's so much of... You, you kind of find out so much of the bad parts of Final Fantasy XIV. Wow, correct. And then... Yeah. In the sense that they're very bad at telling you what you need to know in the moment. The spur of the moment. Because mm. it's all, like, floating text. And then it disappears. Hmm... All right, well, died a couple times to that guy, but, uh... I'm gonna go backwards. Because I'm gonna get a cutscene if I go forward. Say so you go forward and get your cutscene. Yeah, died a couple times to that guy, but I don't feel like he was ever hard. It was mostly just me not playing well or me not playing carefully. Like, none of those deaths felt frustrating. It was always like, oh man, really? I did that? But anyway, that'll do it for today. So until next time, I think that beats us the fire area. So next up is sand. I think it's also the fact that it's hilarious that the very last time we fight this boss is also the time we figure out, oh, hey, we could just, you know. You can stand on the hands. Yeah, stand that? on the hands, because I guess technically they don't count as doing damage. Yeah, they're platforms, I guess.